this video. Um, today I'm going to talk about India. India is one of the most uh, ancient civilization in human history. And for 4,000 years, it creates a lot of uh, significant religion and culture and arts. Uh, and it remains in place uh, India, which has already become the uh, second most populous country in the world. So today I'm going to talk about the culture and religions. Yeah, first of all, uh, let's talk about religions. Uh, there are many kinds of religions uh, in India, but um, there are four, these are four, the majority uh, of Indian religions, the Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Islam, and Christian. Um, but almost 80% of Indian believe in Hinduism, and it goes to And uh, it is really amazing if you think about this, because there are 1.2 billion people in this country, and 80% believe in Hinduism. It's almost 1 billion people there. And uh, also, uh, my interviewee, uh, and his family all believes in Hinduism. So because of the so because of the importance of Hinduism uh, in Indian people. So every every month, India have a festival to celebrate celebrate or worship Hinduism gods or the ceremony. Uh, there are two major festivals. One is Diwali. And other others, uh, holy. Uh, today I will just focus on Diwali because, um, which this is uh, the most important event, and it re represents the victory of light against the darkness. Um, so now it is like um, Thanksgiving. Um, the family can get together and uh, enjoy some activities. Uh, uh, here, uh, this is my. Uh, this is my friend, also my interviewee. Uh, his name is uh, Tres, and uh, he is one of the hosts of the, this event in Penn State. Uh, luckily, I went there last year. It's um, like 2015, no, November 2015. Yeah, and uh, it was a really great party. Uh, we had, uh, we watched some Indian tradition singing and dancing, and uh, we have some um, American. We also have some American Indian food, uh, which I don't really like it because it is neither too spicy or too sweet. But um, one called dosa, it's really, really good. It's like a, a roll with rice. It tastes really good. And uh, so why why does uh, Hinduism is so essential for Indian? Uh, one of the core of the Hinduism is the Atman and the uh, Brahman. Um, Atman is like everybody's souls, uh, individual souls. And Brahman is like um, all together, it's like ocean. And Atman is like every drop of water. Um, the Brahman is the most divine spirit in Hinduism, and it is uh, infinite, like something beyond our human race. Uh, it represents it re represent something beyond us. And uh, if Brahman, uh, so, the, so the final goal of Ant-Man is to reunion with Brahman, because uh, but this procedure needs to be judged by a, a person's behavior, for example, does you, uh, does you be a kind person or nice person? Uh, if not, maybe um, it cannot be get this um, final goal for you. So this idea leads Indian people to have a face when they facing when they facing some horrible things like um, facing some horrible things like uh, hunger, poor, or death. They, they, can, they can give some, the, the Hinduism gives them hope to believe they will have a better life. Uh, that's why Hinduism is so important and so popular 
in the uh, in Indian culture. So, uh, so in the end, uh, the whole experience for preparing this speech is memorable because I have to learn a lot from my friend. Uh, he taught me about a lot about the Indian culture, the society, and uh, I think uh, uh, I hope you can also learn something from this speech because. You know, this is another culture for you. Thank you.